giving when it was handed over to me and I was able to save 4.5 billion for state. Because as at the time I was asked to handle, there was already a contract sum that was already agreed upon. But when I was asked to take it over, I reorganized and renegotiated and expanded the stadium. With the expansion of the stadium, with the new gymnastic hall, two-story building gymnastic hall, inclusive and with the, with the uh, swimming pool that is the only wellness swimming pool in Nigeria now. In addition with the uh, long tennis court, you know, when we came in, the long tennis court uh, was just a sham of its own. I brought it back to international standards. You know, international standard means you must have four courts and a center court. I demolished and rebuilt a brand new long tennis court that has a four court and has a center court. With all those additions, I was still able to fix the contract down to 4.5 million. That is to tell you the level of accountability, transparency that we brought in there. And I'm the only person I can kiss my chest today that in all my transactions, I audit all my accounts. All my accounts, I audit them, both internal and external auditing. I did, and I, before I present every report of financial transaction, I audit my account. I present my report with audited account. Both internal and external audit. And none of this I received any query from whether the internal or external auditors. I am the first chairman of National Sport Festival that will do that and also present the same document to the National Sports and uh, 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 Federal Ministry of Youth and Sport, presented it to all federal and state agencies, including FCC. Shows our level of transparency and accountability. So I am contesting of government today, not because Philip Shago is having an inordinate ambition. No, my ambition is to save the Edo State from businessmen that now want to take over the state. And we already dealt with the issue of one for that reason, but it's trying to bring this up ahead again. And I'm happy that the governor had told us that even him, if he attempts to bring somebody as Godfather, we should deal with him. He told us that. Stole him. That's what he told us. So, our leaders, we are standing on the mandate of the people. My support is organic. With Philip Shiloh, PDP will retain the seat in the United States. And I can tell you, sir, as you give me this ticket, from the day I am announced PDP candidate, you will see APC, Labour Party, SDP, YPP, they will all move. They will move to PDP. There will be mass movement of people coming into our party. That I can tell you. Because they are all waiting to see what will happen. Because I am representing a generation. The last election, the youths were not happy of what happened. Now in the door, they are seeing me as a face that will come and change the tide. The face they can relate with. The face they can touch. The face they can hold the shirt. The face that plays football with them. They see me as that person that can come to their house. Even if it is freedom, they invite me. They know I am there. And they call me original. Oh. 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 After, they are not happy on top that they call me 100% old boy. But it's not my fault. It's not my fault. They gave me the name and I took it. It's because they see me. It's because they know me. It's because they know when I come to talk to them, I don't need an interpreter. They know. So I'm happy to be in our party secretariat today, and I know that the party wants to win a state. And I'm reassuring you, sir, that with 100% of God, Comrade Philip Shadow, and from where I'm coming from, 
to where I am today, I can bet that by the grace of God, power belongs to God, by the grace of God, God will use us to make PDP remain in the door, and God will also use us to make sure that PDP we use a do state as one of its reference states under our leadership, a state to look at, a state to use as reference in terms of projects to the people, uh, economic prosperity for its people. I will be there because, as member of the Edo of Assembly, what were they calling me when I was living? Projects. Projects. Constituency projects. I did 49 constituency projects in eight years. Physical projects. I'm not talking about empowerment program, uh, bicycle, motorcycle, no, minus those one. Physical projects, blocks of classrooms, blocks of uh, market, market, market square, uh, lights, provision of electricity, through power generation, all those ones. So I want to assure us that by the grace of God, I am telling you what I have done, they know, by the grace of God, sir. Uh, we will represent PDP well, and you will be proud to have given Philip Jago the ticket, and Philip Jago will represent the party. Thank you, and God bless you. PDP! I use the word our nomination form because the Philip Jago train is the train of the good people. We started a journey of rescuing the good state. 2006. And when we started that journey, it was we were conscious of what we wanted to achieve. And we said we needed to take our state back and return it to the people. And we did took the state back and return it to the people. Along the line, something almost happened, and the state was not to be attacked. And we said, look, this election is another challenge. And why is another challenge is that this election in the two states, they want to take the government from the people and return it to businessmen. And we are saying, no. It's not error. Completely error. Because a two state cannot return to it. We don't want to a two state will continually move forward. And the only way we can move forward is when power is beside with the people. Yes. Because PD people, we say power to the people, not power to business friends yes. or business colleagues. Okay. So power to the people. Yes. I will tell the leadership of PDP today that some of us, especially me, have been harassed, I've gone through a lot of harassment, I've gone through a lot of